tonight we talk about sound and vision. Volume 5 spans across disciplines to address ideas that touch on digital expression and storytelling. A great deal of power exists in exploiting your audience's uncertainty. We're, we're not an authoritative voice that has the right answer because music is subjective, but at the same time, we do have a sort of point of view and we try really hard to hold on to that. Interactive work is not a derivative of any other form of expression. It is an art form in itself. When you're forcing people to try to like actively figure out what the hell they're hearing, it keeps them on their toes and keeps them alert. Just talking about storytelling, it's impossible to um, ignore the fact that while you're sort of branching out into other areas, um, it's sort of communicating its own story about um, a brand itself. Uh, Quebec is greatly a world leader in interactive creation. I think because we live in a visual culture, it's kind of often the default is to like present that story in some kind of visual medium. If it doesn't make sense with your story or it doesn't make sense with whatever you're, you're trying to communicate, um, then, it, then it's not really working. There's something intellectually unsexy of saying that I start with the media. We often assume that adding visuals is adding quality to a story when I think often there's there's like something is being lost in it. Uh, the industry of interactivity is a cultural industry. Its creators are not service providers. And it's impossible to think about a delivery mechanism without knowing where that delivery is going. <laughs>